Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to The Last Homely House. Today we're having a bit of a sewing day. Hi. Here's Anna, my daughter-in-law, and we're doing the next instalment in her quilt series, Make a Quilt with Anna. And if you haven't seen the first few, then we'll leave the description below. We'll have a link to that series and we'll also pop that on the end card, which is just the bit that comes up at the end of the video. But Anna mostly sews these upstairs. So we've got the workroom upstairs, which is where all the... What goes on upstairs? <laughs> oh, lots we've of got, stuff. We've got the work computer up there and we've got... Um, where everything happens and so we've set a sewing machine upstairs for Anna so that any time she's got some spare time she's just cracking away making these yeah, uh, blocks. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, and so when you've got some spare time you've been churning these tubes out haven't you? Yes. Because what Anna's making here, pass me one of your blocks down, your finished blocks. Mm -hmm. Show us that. So I get a chair so I'm not towering? Yeah, bring yourself a chair. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, because we're, um, we're usually uh, Gandalf and Bilbo, aren't we? <laughs> and if you're in the smaller chair... <laughs> so Anna's... Uh, sh t show them the block you've been making. So this was the one we made in the last video. And I haven't actually made any more tubes. I've just been sewing the strips together yeah. in sort of... We've had a few minutes here and there over the last few weeks. And so today is the sort of day where there's not much else happening. We're going to bring Anna's sewing machine downstairs. I'm going to do some sewing. You're going to do some sewing. And we're going mm. to have that kind of a day, aren't we? Yeah. It's going to be great. Well, the ambition is, isn't it, that I, I will make all of my blocks and you will make all of your terry blocks. Yes. So I'm going to be working on the blocks for that um, Terry Rowland scrap quilt that I'm making. In that video um, uh, that I, w I made about that, mm. Terry said that I need over 600 blocks <laughs> and I've got 500. So I'm going to keep going at that so that I get some sort of a finish on that today, hopefully. Mm. So is this today the day of finishes? Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so we'll get... We to work out how many of these I need to make, don't we? Yeah, in we'll... the quilt planning book. We'll yeah. have a look in there and see what, what that should be, depending on what size you want it to be. Yeah, I'm loving it though. So this is fabric, if you remember, or maybe if you're new here, uh, that Anna got from Spoonflower. Yes, yeah, but Spoonflower very kindly um, provided the fabric for this quilt. So in the last um, video, we were talking a bit about that and having we, a look we looked at all the inside the box, didn't we? Yeah. At that and made started making the first few blocks. Yeah. So. This is a designer called Michelle Parascandolo, and that's the one you really liked, wasn't it? Yes, and yeah. The, the Spoonfly very kindly provided us with the fabric for this. Mm. So we're going to carry on setting up the workroom. You've got to bring your sewing machine downstairs yep. and get it I'm all set up. Now. And then I've got to find myself some scraps, which won't be hard. <laughs> this place is full of scraps to make some more of these terry blocks. Terry blocks, that's what I call them. Yeah. <laughs> we're in for a good day. Yeah. We are. Catch up with you in a second. So these are the blocks I've made already in this, these boxes here and uh, I'm going to need a lot more. <laughs> well, you, you, the, the end is in sight though, right? Yes it is. I've made, I've made far more than three, two thirds, three quarters yeah. even. So yeah, the end is in sight. <laughs> The end is in sight. I'll tell you what's lovely about using scraps like this mm. is that I remember every project that they've ever appeared in. Oh, that's nice. It is really nice, you know, because this one was one that I made something for my mum with this fabric. What did you make? A quilt. We made that swappy quilt where mm. I made her a quilt and she made me a quilt. And then we swapped them for Mother's Day. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. I made a video about it. So nice. And uh, it was, actually. It was a really, it was lovely. She was working in colours she didn't like, and I was working in colours I didn't like. How did how did you pick the colours? I chose them because I knew that she's she mostly liked things like violets and you know I hesitate to call them old lady colours because I like them too, uh -huh. but they were a little bit more insipid than I I usually like. Mm -hmm. I like bright things, you know that. Yeah. And so um, I chose. A fat quarter bundle that was all lilacs and mauves and those kinds of colours. Yeah. For her, that I made for her. What quilt block did you use? Um, 
Amazing. trip around the world. I made a trip around the world. Oh. Yeah. And then I chose for me to make for her because my mum hated green. <laughs> Isn't it funny that I love it so much? Yeah, it's interesting. I know, but she really, really disliked green anything. Yeah. And so um, I chose green for her to make for me. <laughs> I know it was a bit... <laughs> I told you about I told you about how I did that, didn't I? I can't remember. Yeah, well, well, for Mother's Day, I gave her. I handed her this bundle of fabrics that was all um, the, the lilacs and the ones I thought she would like. Yeah. And I said, "Do you like those?" She's, "Oh yes, I do like those. They're lovely," she said. And um, I said, "Well, you can't have those." you can have these and I gave her the green ones and she and her face fell because <laughs> there was nothing in that bundle that she liked at all I said no no yeah. you you're going to have these ones actually could you uh, pass the other road to put it over because we're both going to need it aren't we mm. thank you <laughs> and, she, and then we made each other a quilt and she made a lovely job and I made a an okay job and we had uh, we had those two it was a lovely thing to do where, really enjoyed it. Where is the one that she made? I have it. I brought it home after she died. I brought it home, yeah. and I have it here. Uh, it's upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> the look on her face, though. And then, <laughs> so, we the plan was we would do that for Mother's Day, uh -huh. and then on her birthday, which was July, uh, I gave it back to her. <laughs> I've been sewing away on these blocks for quite a while now and Anna has been making uh, more of her tubes <laughs> and I think um, she's got we've worked out how many she needs and she's got that number I've worked out how many I need of these little blocks that I'm making here and uh, I asked when I first saw this video I asked Terry how many of these blocks am I going to need to make in a comment? And she replied to that comment and said something like 630. And I've probably got 530 now. So the pile doesn't seem to be uh, getting any smaller, sadly. <laughs> so we've had a good creative sewing day today, Anna and I. I've really enjoyed it. And now you can have a look at the progress that she's made on her tubes. So we've been, so Anna and I have been sewing, cutting, pressing, yep. organising all afternoon. And what have you done, Anna? Well, I finished all of the, the strip sections of my blocks and I'm about to start adding in the, the other half of the block in order to... Um, complete it. Complete it and make them, what are we calling them? The tubes. The tubes. And then cutting from the tubes. <laughs> yeah. And in, in order to do that, we had to decide how big this was going to be. Yes. So we've done a bit of a quilt tour of the house. Measuring different quilts that Anna likes yeah. the look of. Looking at all Kate's dif different quilts. And it was quite tricky, actually, wasn't it? Yeah. Trying to work out... Um, so we were thinking 8 by 8 
feet Eight. Uh, uh, blocks so yeah. the blocks finish at seven and a half inches mm -hmm. and that's our well, you know they're eight inches but they'll finish at seven and a half yeah so that's our our block measurement yes and uh or at one point we were considering 10 by 10 but it was a bit big that wasn't was big it? yeah 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 so we've said now eight by nine haven't we yeah yeah which is so how many 72 so 72 of these blocks that are at the top here yeah. and you've got enough strips here to make that Yes, yeah, exactly 72. Exactly. So it might be that we end up making a few extra if it doesn't feel Exactly. Pretty. And yeah. so that's the plan, is to put mm. them up on the board once they're all cut and uh, then see if you like the size of it, bearing yeah. in mind it'll shrink a little as you sew them together. Yes. So that's the plan now then, is to put the second part onto these tubes. Which is the six inches. Yes. <laughs> we have to check this all the time. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Because I look at Kate like expecting that she's going to remember. She's like, and, no, check the book. <laughs> yes. It's uh, such a so handy book, this. It is. It is. And so that's what you're going to do now. Yes. I've been making more of these. And I have them here clipped together in tens. And, but they're not sorted by colour, which is something that I thought I might do as I was going along, but I haven't been doing. So I think once I've got uh, the number I need, um, I'll I'll then have a lovely afternoon sorting them all by colour. Oh, that'll be fun. I think that I think I'll do that at the end when I've got all the ones I need. Yeah. So I'm running out of n novel scraps. I've got plenty of scraps, but I want them to be different. Mm. I, I don't want to have you know too many the same in one area. So I'm I'm definitely running out of um, fabric. I never thought I would hear myself say that, <laughs> but I am. And so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to carry on stitching and you're going to carry on... Making some six inch strips. Six inch strips to sew onto these. How many do you need? Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to count. Twelve? Yeah. Something like that. Well, it's a little while later now. Anna and I have both been working on our separate projects. And how are you getting on? Mm. Yeah, it's been good. I've got all my tubes made. And <laughs> loads and loads of blocks. <laughs> Thank you. Da -da -da. And so do you think today then we might be able to put them on the design board and see yeah. what they look like? I hope so. Okay, that sounds good fun, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I've just got four four tubes left to cut. So okay, so that. to cut the triangles and then press them. Yeah. Well, I've plugged the iron in, so you're ready to do that. And Thank I'm practically at the point now where I can start putting up the terry blocks oh, good. to start designing that colour wash quilt. I mean, yeah. that's been a long time in the coming. But then I think if you've been here any length of time, you'll know that I like to work on a lot of different projects at once. And so mm -hmm. I haven't stopped doing the terry blocks uh -huh. But I just do. I just kind of do them yeah. in between all the other jobs. Yeah, I've been. I've been starting to think like that as well. Because mm. because I've started a hexagon quilt. I can't remember if we talked about. Uh, do you know something, Anna? I think we talked about it on the Patreon channel. Yeah. And so there's been a lovely. Uh, we call them one mores. We do a one more every Friday for the patrons, and so we did a one more about Anna's. Uh, Anna's journey into hexagons, mm. which has been really rather lovely. So we always leave the information about Patreon on the uh, end of this video and always in the description below if you wanted to find out more about what we do there. Yeah. But um, today then, I think, what? how wonderful would it be if we actually started designing mm -hmm. with these and getting some of these onto the board? Yeah. And then um, this project has been going on for a while, but the very next and final 
probably video will mm-hmm. be the quilt top and the and the back and the quilting. Yeah. Do you think you'll hand quilt it or will you send it away to be quilted? Definitely hand quilt. You're going to hand quilt yeah. it. Well, that's going to be lovely. I was wondering because on the back of the quilt it's going to be, you know, I talked about doing it a bit like a canther. Tell them uh, about what you think you might do for the back of the quilt. Well, I think because I think right at the very beginning, I remember last year, I was talking about how I wanted like two quilts for the price of one. Oh, right. So like both sides look as good as as each yeah. other. And I've been looking a lot at kind of is 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 canthers the kind of stitches? Canthers the big running stitches yeah. that is very popular in on Indian textiles. And is that why they're called canther quilts because of that stitch? Yeah, because of the stitching. So what yeah. you're talking about is a a randomly pieced back, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, all different pieces, but with the canther all your stitch all across it. Stitch, stitch if that again. would work on this. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, and that's the thing. When you do a different front and a different back, yeah. then y- your quilting stitches, even if they're machined or hand, mm. will speak on both sides. Yeah. I wonder if you remember that quilt that I made, the um, the birch tree quilt. Oh, yeah, yeah. That you I and I one. had a, quite a pantomime photographing in the front <laughs> yeah. woods. Well, with that one, I quilted along the lines of the birch mm. branches and on the back, which was plain, you saw the quilting lines as a sort of echo of the birch yeah, branches. I've that. And That's I really cool. liked how that came together. Yeah. It was a lovely quilt to, to finish that one. I mm. liked that one. So, and then another point to make here is that all the time, this is how I work, maybe you do too, when I'm quilting, I'm piecing it together. And I'm thinking, I wonder how I'll quilt this. I wonder what would look good mm. as a quilt pattern on here. I definitely did that when I was doing the seed packet quilt recently, where I was thinking about edging it uh, and making each block look like a seed packet. Mm. And so you'll be doing that without realising it. Because the other idea I had was doing, what's that one called where mm. where you... Tying. Tying, Where yeah. you tie it. And, um, and uh, I have cool. tied quilts in the past. Mm. And a number of years ago I tied um, a, a quilt that was all solids. Mm. See if I can find a picture of it for you. I just had a flash of an image in my mind then when you said that. So yeah. I might have seen it before. Okay. And so um, if anyone follows Donna Jordan at Jordan Fabrics, and why wouldn't you? She did a fabulous tutorial on tying quilts, mm. which I'll show you, Anna. Yeah. So that you can see if tying something you want to do. Yeah. Her and her, her bloke uh, tied this quilt and they just made it look so easy. Yeah, and good. once you get into the rhythm of, of it, tying quilts, it is mm. easy. It does look nice as well. So there's an idea then. So yeah. all the while you're putting this together, mm-hmm. then you'll be thinking about those ideas for how to quilt it. And yeah. the bind- and so whenever I'm making a quilt, I always make the binding at the same time as mm. I make the backing. Uh, because then when you get to that point where you need the binding, it's already made and you haven't got to go scratching mm. about for bits of fabric to make the That's binding. So once we've got our quilt top finished for you here, we'll mm. do the binding as well. So be thinking mm. about how you want the binding to look. Yes, I will. So you've got a few more tubes to cut mm-hmm. and I've got a, a, a little bit of um, sorting out of my quilt blocks over there. Mm-hmm. And then I think the idea is that we show people... Both of them. Is that right? Yeah. Let's do that. That'll be fun. Okay, let's let's do it. All right. All right.
repositioning these, there's no end to the lift, the variations that you can yeah. get. Yeah, it's interesting. So I think then I'm happily tipping from orange into yellow now. Nice. And it's going to take me a long time to do all of these. There's about 600 of them. Oh, and you've got some decisions to make now on whether you want to do this kind of scrap, this kind of chevron, have it all going in one direction like that, like the famous boy band, <laughs> you know, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I'll have a play. Lots of decisions to make. Mm. So I think then we'll say <laughs> we're going to be doing this for quite a while now, aren't we? Yes, rest of the afternoon probably. Rest of the afternoon. <laughs> and uh, the next time you see this, Anna will have made that painful decision <laughs> about um, how to lay it out. Yeah. Uh, already you're starting to think in terms of different layouts, aren't you? I am, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So we'll see you next time with two quilt tops. Mm. Is that a promise? Yeah, and maybe a quilt back. <laughs> well, yeah. yes, but a, a, much more towards a quilt finish. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to put on the back of this yet. I haven't even thought about it. But putting the blocks together is loads of fun. Uh, and it's been really nice working alongside Anna doing this project. And so we're going to carry on now, Anna mm -hmm. and I, and what I would say is if you've enjoyed watching this video or any of the videos from The Last Homely House, it really helps us if you give us a thumbs up because that tells the YouTube algorithm that you're enjoying it here and that they might push it out to other people who don't know about us. And always a subscribe is really, really nice. Thank you. Our numbers are growing and it's very gratifying to see how many people we've got on the lime green sofa. So thanks so much for joining us here today. We'll see you next time with this, but we'll see you soon with something else so take care everyone bye bye